Here's an example where our exponent is negative. We have f of x equals 3x to the negative 2. Now if you have some trouble uh, solving to get your x and f of x values when you make your table, remember uh, f of x equals 3x to the name is negative 2 is the same as 3 over x squared. Remember that negative exponent here really is we can just flip and put to the, the denominator and make it positive. So if this is a little easier for you to solve for your f of x values, you can go ahead and write it like that. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and plot our points like always. So we have negative 3.3. That's going to be really, really close right here. We've got negative 2.75. We've got negative 1, 3. And we're going to get this shape here that looks like this. Uh, here we have 1, 3. We've got 2.75, we've got 3.3, and it looks like we're going to have the mirror of that shape right over here on the positive side. So here we have our graph. Let's go ahead and analyze the components of this graph. Let's go ahead and start with our domain. Here I notice that we have x values for everything except at 0. At x equals 0, we don't have any value, but we do have for everything else. So our domain is going to be from negative infinity to 0, union with 0 to positive infinity. Our range here, now we don't have anything at 0 or all these negative values, but we do know that these are getting really, really close to 0. So what we're going to do here for our range is we are going to have a zero not included going all the way to positive infinity because we have all these positives but that's why we put a parenthesis here instead of a bracket because this zero was not included. Now let's go ahead and take a look for any intercepts. I do not see any intercepts here on the graph. Um, I look here at zero where you might think where our intercepts have typically been and our value is undefined because remember we can't have a zero in the denominator and when we rewrote this as 3 over x squared we can't have a zero down there so we don't have a value we have no intercepts so intercepts we have none our end behavior as we go to the left it looks like it's getting closer and closer to zero as we go to the right also we are getting very very close to zero now let's look at our, our continuity here. We're continuous all the way until this break right here. We have a gap right here at x equals 0. So what we can say is we are discontinuous, discontinuous at x equals 0. At this x equals 0, we do not have any values. That's why there's a, a break there. That's why we're discontinuous at that point. Now looking at this graph, let's take a look at where we are increasing. Increasing, remember, is moving up and up and up. So here, from the left to here, we're going upwards all the way until 0. So we're increasing from negative infinity to 0. Let's take a look at where we're decreasing. On the other side here, we're moving down as we go to the right. We're going downward, so we're decreasing from 0 to positive infinity. 